welcome or welcome back my name is tanya whenever i get my period now every month i'm actually so grateful so grateful and low-key excited i don't know i just recognize now that it's a beautiful moment for me to make the space for myself to really tune in to how i'm feeling and listen to my body and the thing is for me I do not take birth control or really anything. I don't even like taking Advil or Tylenol. I just don't like taking things into my body that are not natural. Okay, it's just weird to me personally. So I don't I don't take birth control. And for that reason, I'm already so in tune with my period because I will know days before when I'm going to get it and how I'm feeling about it. So usually like my chin will kind of break out, like hormonal thing, I don't know. Um, I will crave chocolate and I will literally feel it like in my lower uh, stomach, you know, I will feel like, okay, it's coming and also my body sometimes I'll just feel like low energy or I don't know sometimes my moods will kind of change so I know exactly when I'm going to get my period which I think is a blessing because when it comes it's no surprise I'm like yes <laughs> and another thing is that I'm very grateful my period only lasts like three days three or four god bless <laughs> And anyways, that just honoring my menstrual cycle has allowed me to have more of an appreciation for myself as a woman. So in this video, I want to talk about how to honor your menstrual cycle, how to connect with your body when you are experiencing that sacred time of the month. So, you know, as we know, as women, every month, we have a period and we bleed and on average it should be every month and if you don't have it every month that's something that you should look into okay because having it every month is what should be regular if you don't experience a regular period and you are taking birth control or some other substances that may be also something to look into because something's affecting it okay and anyways our you know in this society it's just like our period is looked down upon and it just kind of gross and just like oh that time of a month but honestly it's really not it's really just uh shifting your your beliefs around it if you've been told that it's gross and and it should be kept secret and all of this stuff I think the more open we are talking about it, the more comfortable we are in our body during that time and the more we can just honor it, you know? So especially if you have a partner, especially if your partner is the opposite sex, like I have, you know, I'm in a relationship with a man and obviously he doesn't get a period, so he doesn't understand. Um, he could feel what I'm saying, but he doesn't quite understand. So if that's the case as well, it's really important to honor yourself so that when that time comes, you can be open to speaking about how you feel, what you're going through, what you need, what your body needs, what your body is telling you that you need, right? If you need to rest and you need to communicate that with your partner, you need to, to be open about that, how you're truly feeling. That's the first thing to do is that you just you need to let go if you have beliefs that someone else told you that your period should be gross and it should be almost demonized i don't know that it sh that it's just weird to talk about and all that you need to let that go you need to be open about speaking about it um because i think every woman has experienced this like getting your period when you're in public whether that was when we were young and we were in school or we're playing a sport and we're like oh no or we're at work even nowadays 
when we're at work and, and we get it unexpectedly and we're not prepared. That's the worst thing when you're not prepared. And then you're like, what do I do? And like being comfortable to ask other women around you, like, hey, do you have, you know, a pad or whatever? Or being excused to the bathroom for that reason. I think we've all experienced having moments of embarrassment you know like if we started unexpectedly and then we get our pants or whatever stained and we're embarrassed and it you know i understand it could be embarrassing because it's like well, shit but just remember that it's a natural thing that your body has to go through as a woman so just embracing that that every woman goes through it okay so it's a natural thing that your body goes through so once it's that time of the month it's really important to make the space to be with yourself and have at least a few moments of just being with yourself and if you meditate to meditate to really just have moments of like silence and allowing yourself to really tune in to what's going on and the thing is, going back to what I said about how like society looks at a woman's period, is that especially if we're in this like hustle kind of thing and we're just going, 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 if you work a full-time job, if, if you are working, let's say a nine to five and you're just going, 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 like it's just like you're not stopping to ever really just pause just pause um, it can be really hard to think that your period is a time to make the space for yourself like I totally understand it's a lot of uh, deprogramming unlearning for you to really learn new new things new routines for yourself um, because usually when we have our period and let's say we have work we have to go to work you know like and obviously we're capable of doing that we're capable of doing anything on our period shit playing sports swimming anything right and so it would it's not normalized to call out to work if you're on your period like it's not a thing to do um but if you do have the ability to stay home or if you work from home uh, whatever the case then definitely spend time with yourself okay so ways that your body will will speak to you is literally through cramps if you experience really horrendous cramps like I've been there I know what it feels like to be in so much pain that can be something your body is telling you. It might be saying, yo, you need to chill, you need to relax. You need to tone it down a little. You need to not be in such a masculine go, go, go kind of mode. You need to be more in flow, more in tune with your feminine, more in your attracting and receptive, receiving kind of mode. And so your body is like, yo, I need to like release all of this shit because it's a lot. You've been putting me through a lot. <laughs> that could be a reason for pain. Uh, also, maybe just your body trying to literally like scream at you like, what have I been consuming lately? Um, if you're eating like shit or if you need to stay more hydrated. Um, if you need to be more uh, active, you know what I mean? Only you will know what your body needs. But know that whenever you feel some type of way, that means something. It's just, it's not hurting just for no reason. Your nutrition profoundly affects your period. And I feel like this is common sense because whatever we consume, whatever we eat, did our body affects us but I, it's not really common sense nowadays I think or it's just something that we um, unconsciously do when we're eating fast food or really 
eat really shitty food like that's obviously going to affect you and your cycle right so it's it's called a cycle because your body goes through literally a cycle and it's really important that you learn how to honor that and you can also learn how to honor your food cravings when you are on it or before it like for me i do get choppy cravings uh or what nutrition your body really needs something that's amazing is that our cycle has the ability to be in sync with the moon's rhythms which is really cool to dive deep into if yours does if you want to learn about that if your cycle um, goes in sync with a full moon or a new moon um, i experienced that and i think it's really amazing there's a lot of blogs and information that you can learn about that another thing is that you are a lot more intuitive when you are on your period and I feel like this is why we experience uh, PMS and mood swings because I feel like we're just so intuitive with like the exterior world and like the energy that's happening around us that it causes us to be up in our feels and our emotions and like feeling some type of way and then we immediately just act out and i feel like it's because we're so intuitive do you know what i mean so it's really important to just like have that awareness and notice what it is that's really bothering you or pissing you off because then that can allow you to really reflect on some things like if your partner is really pissing you off and then you dive deep into it and it's like okay does this always happen or what's going on okay so another reason why uh, our intuition peaks during our menstrual cycle is because we are more intuitive because of high and rising estrogen sharpens your ability to read other people's facial expressions um, also more intuitive because plunging estrogen makes you more aware of what's going on around you it's kind of what I just said, you know, I'm not going into the science of estrogen and ovulation and all of that. You could do your own scientific research, but just overall, like if you've ever noticed you're a lot more intuitive when you're on your period, you're not crazy. This is you in sync. Like we have superpowers, okay? This is why I'm saying just honor your period because it's a very special time. Um, so ways that you can do that is, as I already mentioned a lot of throughout this video, is to obviously make the space for yourself. Um, something that I like to do now is literally just chill in my silky robe. Um, I'll do a little self-love, self-care, and I'm all about herbal teas, herbal hot teas, because they have a lot of benefits to you. There's a lot of herbs out there that can really benefit you when you are on your period. Watch my video, I think I made 10 teas that you can drink when you're on your period that will also help you with cramps. This is a beautiful natural way to help your body heal, to help your body cleanse your uterus, to have a nice blood flow and really let go of any any old blood another thing is just self-love in general however that feels to you i like to do um, organic vegan face masks um, a nice bath with some herbs i'm all about the herbs listen herbs offer so many healing benefits and there's so many beautiful herbs that will help you as a woman staying hydrated it is important i just uh started a water fast yesterday five day water fast try this water for the first time it's actually really good it's weird to say because it's just water but ph 8.4 <laughs> so yeah fasting is a good way if you're into fasting because it's like your body's already highly intuitive and then you fast and you're like whoo it's a lot of um, mental discipline, which I think is amazing. So 
you don't have to fast but that's another thing you can do but definitely staying hydrated so that blood flow and everything is good communicating with your partner on how you're feeling what you need and i think one of the hardest ones would be honoring your rest if your body is like bro i've just been going 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 i need to rest or you're feeling a little extra tired like just rest like it's not gonna kill you you're gonna feel way better if you rest especially when your body is menstruating it's the best feeling to like sleep in if you can or just take an extra nap you know you can also do some womb healing journaling watch my video on how to connect with your womb basically you can put your hands over your womb you listen and you journal whatever message came to you a major one is tuning in to how you treat yourself during your period how you care for yourself and by that i mean what do you use? Do you use tampons? Do you use one of those cups? Do you use pads? Do you use uh, period underwear? Or do you just free flow? What do you use? And I think it's really important. I personally have shifted away from wearing tampons. I don't think I will ever wear them again. I also shifted away from wearing the cups which I thought were amazing because number one, they're affordable, they're reusable, they're very sustainable, and they're very travel friendly. I traveled everywhere with this little baggie with the cup and you could just wash it and it, it feels really comfortable, it's amazing, I love those. But then I started to learn about how the cup is basically like old blood just sitting up there and instead of allowing the blood to free flow and cleanse and come out of you as it should which is what the purpose is of your period then i was like nah that doesn't make sense i can't have warm blood just sitting up there it no no so now i just use organic cotton pads um, or period underwear because that allows me to just have a free flow and let me tell you it feels amazing it feels amazing to be able to let your body just do that just release 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 because like a tampon is just like not nah, just up there it's just, it's almost the same concept as the cup and it it doesn't really make sense it doesn't make sense honestly like if you switch to um, a free flow i'm telling you that it's going to change your whole life if you feel like you want to have sex when you're on your period something to be open with your partner about if they're comfortable with it i mean i've learned that it is actually a beautiful moment to have sex when you're on your period because i don't remember exactly why it just helps with cramps, especially releasing like orgasm. An orgasm helps with your cramps and your period in general, okay? So you could look into that too. If you feel like you need to sweat it out, if you wanna go on a run, if you wanna go sauna, if you wanna go swim, if that works for you, then do that. You know, basically overall, like what I'm saying is to number one, let go of that icky belief that they have told us that our period should be gross instead embrace it honor it welcome it welcome your period every month and <laughs> feel good about it find ways to feel good about it right if you have some stretchy pants that just feel so comfortable then wear it throughout your period if you have a silky robe that you want to chill at home and just free flow then do that if you want to take freaking herbal baths because it makes you feel good if you want to put heating pads on yourself if you want to call out to work i fully support you because listen it's a beautiful time of the month and it's when you're most intuitive it's when you can receive even more downloads um it's a time to really just tune in in general like 
one time out of the month. Tune in, relax, take care of yourself, spoil yourself. And the biggest thing is do not feel bad about doing so. Okay? <laughs> do not feel bad about treating yourself a little extra during that time. Because, like, you're a queen. You're divine. You're menstruating. It is sacred. Like, God created us to have a period for a reason. So, might as well honor it. The sooner you honor it, the sooner your life will change because your period is a really big part of your life. Um, as soon as you honor it, then a lot of other things can shift in your life, you know, being more open about speaking about your body and your needs. Um, yeah, it's really important. Journaling is another huge thing for me. Um, I love journaling. It's very, very healing. Um, and just whatever we have stored within us, emotions and old trauma or whatever, releasing, letting go. It's that time to just let go, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, make sure to watch my other videos on herbal teas, connecting to your womb, journaling, and other things that you can do, energetic spiritual cleanses such as a yoni steam which you shouldn't do on your period but anyways thank you so much for being here i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know below what are some things that you like to do to honor your time of the month what do you recommend what do you think what are your thoughts and yeah thank you so much for connecting i hope that you're feeling beautiful today